True Health, where patients come first. The best doctors, the newest technology, the most caring staff, and research that is changing people's lives. We are U Health, the University of Miami Health System. U Health presents medical advancements at the U. Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center is South Florida's leader in cancer research, diagnosis, and quality care. Approximately one and a half million Americans face cancer annually, and about 570,000 of that one and a half million will die annually. So that's 1,500 deaths every day. Most experts believe that half of those cancer deaths could be prevented by what we already know today. And half of that is tobacco. If you quit smoking now, your risk begins to decrease immediately. Other small changes in your lifestyle can help reduce your risk of certain cancers. Eat more fruits and vegetables, more whole grains and less animal fat. Even some hereditary cancers can be prevented. 25-year-old Sylvia LaRue has learned there are steps you can take to prevent or screen for these types of cancers. I get a colonoscopy every one to two years and that so far, that's how the protocol I've been taking. And then I get an ultrasound every six months. I get a pelvic ultrasound and the CA-125, which is the tumor marker blood test. How did Sylvia know to take preventative measures? After her mother was diagnosed with colon cancer, Sylvia went to see board-certified genetic counselor Talia Donenberg at Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center. There she learned through a simple blood test that she has Lynch syndrome. The Lynch syndrome is one of the um, hereditary cancer syndromes that causes increased risks for certain types of cancer. Namely, the colon and the uterus are at highest risk. And uh, it comes from a mutation in several genes that we call mismatch repair genes. I learned about this when I was 19 years old, and I'm 25, and I I've had about three colonoscopies. I'm going on to my fourth in a few months. And Sylvia's screenings are proving they could be saving her life. She's already had one polyp removed. Number one cancer in America, when you include both men and women, is colon cancer. Almost all colon cancers develop first as a benign polyp. If that benign polyp is removed, the cancer won't develop. Sylvia doesn't want to think about what could be happening if she wasn't taking these preventative measures. I go see a nutritionist, I'm very on top of my health and eating clean and eating the right foods and eating healthy. I exercise a lot, I go to the gym, I actually just ran a half marathon last year and I'm taking my vitamins and trying to be as proactive as I can now that I have all this information and I'm aware about it. I probably wouldn't be here saying that I've been cancer free and that I've been able to take all these measures because I'm 25 now and they found that and removed that pop when I was 23 years old. And now you too are aware of how you can reduce your risk of cancer. If you'd like more information on genetic testing or to make an appointment for a screening, please call 305-243-1000 or visit us on the web at sylvester.org.